hey you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you can see by the title we're gonna be doing a wig reinstall plus I'm going to be dyeing this hair jet black um, this is an old wig I have from beauty forever hair so I'm just combing it out and getting all the knots out before I start dyeing the hair so you're gonna need like a big bowl like this or any type of container and then I ended up going to the beauty supply and I got the the Adore Me um, Black Velvet and then the Kiss Jet Black and I only needed two bottles. Also I'm going to show you guys how you can make sure that you don't mess up the lace so make sure you have a comb of course but you're going to also make sure that you have Vaseline. Now I got this trick from Beauty by Julia and I will really show you how this will make sure your lace is not dyed black. Also make sure you use like a butter knife um, because you're going to spread the Vaseline with that. Okay, so we are going to start off with making sure that we protect this lace, girl. So, as you guys can see here, I'm taking the Vaseline and I'm using that butter knife. And I'm just making sure that I'm covering the entire lace with this Vaseline. You can put as much as you want. Um, I used a lot. The only thing I will say about this is you have to make sure that you clean it out really thoroughly when you're done. Because it's really thick and it will make your hair look greasy if you don't make sure that you get it out um, I had to wash this wig a couple of times because every time I blow dried it it would still look greasy in some of the areas but this is pretty much how you make sure that your lace is not dyed I promise you your lace will be protected girl like your lace will be stunning like it'll be like it hasn't even been touched um this trick is super effective like i said beauty via Jalea, put it put me onto it i will link her channel So what we're going to do next is start getting the dye ready. So I'm just pouring all the dyes into the bowl that I'm using to dye my hair. Um, you're going to just take both dyes and these were enough guys. Um, I know a lot of people usually use a lot of dyes and I am using the watercolor method also guys. Um, Two bottles did just fine. Two bottles was perfectly fine of this. Um, I did add water to the bottles just to make sure I got all components out of the bottle um so yeah i'm just pretty much pouring all the dye into the bottom of the bowl and then you're just gonna mix everything together One thing I forgot to mention also is I was boiling hot water on the stove before I poured all the mixtures and so you're going to need to boil um, some hot water um, in order to do the watercolor method. Um, the hot water absorbs the color into the hair so make sure that the water is steaming hot. Um, and I'm just shifting to a bowl because I was splashing myself with the hot water. So you're just going to see me um, pouring the hot water in with a bowl instead of that big pot because I was burning myself. But yeah, you're just going to pour um, hot water into this bowl. Um, you can really eye how much water you, you add to it. I just wanted to make sure that it, the water still looks saturated. You don't want the mixture to look too watery to where you can see through the water. So just make Make sure that you know the color is still there but there's enough water mixed in so that your weight can actually fit and sit into the solution so after I finished getting the dye together um, I dipped the ends of the wig into the water um, I did this just to make sure that the color was coming out right um, you can do this with any color that you're water coloring um, just to make sure that you know it's given what it's supposed to give so um, 
they were turning black they were giving me the color that I needed because obviously that's what I wanted jet black so um, you're pretty much going to slowly dip the wig in backwards into the water um, I was still being cautious even though I mean I could have just dipped the wig into the water without any issue because the Vaseline protecting it but it's so good to just be precautious um, but like I said if you want to be messy and just drop the wig in there you can because that Vaseline girl is gonna be your safeguard do not even worry okay so I'm just fixing the wig into the water nicely so that all the hair is saturated the baby hairs that are still left out in the front so yeah I'm just getting everything nice and situated so she can lay there and she's gonna sit for about 30 minutes depending on how well the hair saturates but you could leave it up to an hour but being that it's water being watercolored you don't really need to have it sit for too long so for this next part I recommend that you wear gloves because you will get your hands real dirty if you don't so I'm just basically getting all the excess dye and you know mixture out of the hair um, I do comb through it a couple times just to make sure that the roots are black as well as you guys can see right at the top it didn't die so just make sure you're double checking it before you rinse the hair out that every section of the hair is dyed just make sure that you're combing your hair straight back and then letting it sit backwards in the dye so that everything is just evenly distributed So altogether, it took me about 45 minutes to process the hair. It doesn't usually take me this long whenever I do um, black hair, um, especially like j just a regular jet black hair. But um, just because I missed that one section, it took me a little bit longer. But usually it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get this color, guys. It's super easy and it's super quick. And I'm going to show you how well the lace is still intact. So just keep watching. look how black this hair is like I really dyed this shit to the T like come on now you ain't about to tell me this ain't as black as it gets like it's literally the perfect jet black I honestly think it's darker than jet black to be honest um that velvet black from Adore is just it's it really has color to it so I'm just blow drying this hair and then I'll come back once it's installed Okay guys, so this is the end result. I feel like I did this super quick, like this video could be super short because I just feel like this whole process was just so quick and easy. But yeah, look at this lace. As you guys can see, no dye, nowhere, undetectable. And yeah, I'm just super proud about how this install came out. Excuse the got to be spray on the corner of my face, looking crazy. Oh, it's on both sides of my face. <laughs> what a joke. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.